During the Skytrax 2024 awards, Air Canada won the best airline in the best premium economy class onboard catering in North America. Today, we'll take a look at their premium economy class and see if it's actually worth it. Let's start with the seating. In most Air Canada premium economy cabins, the seats are arranged in a 232 layout, except on the Boeing 777-300 ER, where it's a 242 setup. You get at least 38 inches of seat pitch, which is a nice upgrade from the 32 inches in economy. The seats are just slightly wider, ranging from 18 to 20 inches, but it's not too different from the economy that offers 17 to 18 inches of seat width. You also get seven inches of recline, as opposed to the three to five inches in economy. While it's not the most luxurious recline out there, it's decent enough. In Air Canada's premium economy, the seats come with large armrests, including dual armrests between each seat. This means you probably won't have to wrestle with your neighbor for elbow space, unlike an economy. However, the center armrest where you place your drink or water is a bit small for two people to share. Air Canada should consider adding seats with individual cup holders for premium economy passengers during their next upgrade. The seats also come with an adjustable headrest, which not only gets you some good sleep, but also allows you to sit comfortably during the flight. There's a footrest attached below the seat in front, but if you're tall, you might find it a bit annoying since it could stop you from stretching out comfortably. One feature we like with Air Canada's premium economy seats is the power setup. Every premium economy passenger gets their power outlet. The AC power outlet is located next to the leg rests and there is also a USB-A port under the in-flight entertainment screen. However, there's no USB-C port, which makes us wonder how long it's been since the aircraft got an upgrade. The seat also has a 16-inch by 11-inch bifold tray table that you can pull out from the center armrest. It's big and sturdy enough to hold a full-size laptop or your meal tray. Speaking of storage, Air Canada offers enough storage compartments where you can keep your luggage and belongings. The spacious legroom can be enough for you to keep your bags, but if you've got long legs, you can store your bags and luggage in the overhead bins on the sides of the aircraft. There's a seat back pocket for your smaller items like wallets, phones, or books. Let's talk about food and drinking service. After winning the 2024 Skytrax Best Premium Economy Class Onboard Catering in North America Award, you'd probably expect Air Canada's premium economy meal service to be close to business class meals on certain airlines. But honestly, the meals in Air Canada's premium economy feel more like a little upgrade from economy. Minutes after boarding, the flight attendants will hand out printed menus. In Air Canada's premium economy, meals are only served on flights longer than two hours. Shorter flights get snacks and beverages instead. On longer flights, you get two meal courses and a mid-flight snack. The first meal service usually kicks off about 50 minutes after takeoff. Depending on the time of day, it could be lunch or breakfast. For flights leaving from North America, you'll get a pre-packaged meal box with a hot casserole, side salad, bread, and dessert. If you're flying within North America, they'll serve you a complimentary meal box with a pre-selected meal and a snack. The meal service comes on real china and glassware with actual silverware. Unlike the plastic containers, and disposable cutlery used in economy. On some flights, they also offer a mid-flight cold sandwich, though it'll be served in disposable packaging. You can always check the food menu on the airline's website so you know what to expect on board. Before landing, a light meal will be served. This is where Air Canada should improve if they want to get above just the best premium economy class onboard catering in North America award. The second meal is a hot pocket, a savory sandwich-like brick with a choice of either chicken or vegetable filling. This is not an acceptable meal for premium economy. A proper dinner or lunch meal would have been more appropriate for passengers in this class of service. If you have special dietary requirements or do not eat certain foods, Air Canada has got you covered. Special meals are available in premium economy within North America and on international flights. Be sure to order them 24 hours before the flight. The beverage service in Air Canada premium economy is pretty average but at least all premium economy passengers are treated to complimentary orange juice or water. The only downside of their pre-departure drink is that it is served in plastic cups. During your meal, you can choose from coffee, tea, soft drinks, and a choice of red or white wine. However, there's no sparkling wine. The drink selection is a little above what you get in the economy. For instance, beers like Molson Canadian and Coors Light, which are available in economy, are also offered in the premium economy. 
The only difference is that economy passengers have to pay around $5 for beer and spirits. Though by the end of 2024, complimentary beer and wine will be included in economy as well. Makes us wonder what's going to be the standout feature of Air Canada's premium economy beverage service after that change. Let's move over to the in-flight entertainment. For an airline that won Apex's best in-flight entertainment in North America in 2023 and 2024, you'd expect something impressive. But on Air Canada's premium economy, you get an 11-inch touchscreen in the seat back on planes like the Boeing 777 and 787. It's even smaller on the A33300, with just an 8.9-inch screen, pretty much the same size as an economy. On the other hand, some airlines offer something better in their premium economy. All Nippon Airways, for example, offers a 15.6-inch screen on their premium economy. Apart from the small screen, the content is solid, which is key for long flights. The touchscreen is responsive, but if you're fully reclined and don't feel like leaning forward to make your selections, there's a remote control located just below the screen for your convenience. You can watch newly released movies, classic films, and current TV shows, or pick from a huge library of music, radio, and podcasts to keep you entertained. They've also added live TV and teamed up with Apple TV, which is pretty cool. Another area where Air Canada could improve when it comes to entertainment is the headphones. Passengers are offered cheap and regular earbuds that don't block out noise. It's definitely better to bring your own headphones, which you can connect to the system for better sound quality. Wi-Fi is available with a full flight streaming pass costing $26. Now let's talk about the amenities you'll get in premium economy. To make your flight more comfortable, they provide a packaged pillow and blanket. You'll also get a basic amenity kit with essentials like a plastic toothbrush, toothpaste, earplugs to help you sleep, and socks to keep your feet warm. But don't expect high quality headphones. After boarding, Air Canada adds a little first class flair to premium economy with a hot towel service. It's a nice touch, especially since it's something you usually see in first or business class on other North American airlines. Speaking of extras, premium economy passengers flying Air Canada can enjoy priority check-in with special counters to speed things up. But don't expect priority security lane access. Premium economy passengers can also check two standard size bags at no extra cost. As for the service, don't expect anything too personalized. The same flight attendants serve both the economy and premium economy cabins. So there's not much difference in service. Air Canada's service is reflected on review sites as many passengers on TripAdvisor have highlighted the airline's average meals and always busy crew. On the other hand, people have aired their displeasure over the airline's constant missing baggage and flight delays and cancellation issues. Now that we have discussed the seats, meals, beverages, entertainment, amenities, and services, Let's discuss one of the deciding factors, the pricing. When booking Air Canada Premium Economy, there are two fare options, lowest and flexible. If you go for the lowest fare, it is not refundable if you miss your flight, changing your flight costs $100. But with flexible fares, you can get a refund, same-day standby, and no fee changes. So generally, you can anticipate paying roughly double the price of an economy ticket for premium economy tickets. A round trip could cost approximately $2,000 to $4,000, depending on your flight route and the time of booking. Now to the big question, is flying on Air Canada's premium economy worth it? Air Canada's premium economy promises more legroom, extra recline, a slightly wider seat, meals and beverages slightly better than economy, an in-flight entertainment screen slightly larger than that of the economy class, priority treatment in the airport, and two free check bags. When compared side by side to the economy class, Air Canada Premium Economy is a better upgrade to the economy, but it might not always be worth the additional cost. The difference between the economy and the premium economy is not huge. For example, the in-flight entertainment screen is just two inches different from economy, and cheap earbuds given in the economy are provided instead of headphones. The meal and drink service isn't much different from what you get in economy either. Priority boarding, the two free check bags, and the hot towel service are the extras that make premium economy worth it. Other than those, you might be better off spending that extra cash on a different airline that offers a truly premium experience on the same route. But if you are bent on flying Air Canada, you should pay the extra cost of Air Canada Business Class. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.